First up is the episode Shell Shocked, a very underrated episode from season six, where SpongeBob searches for alternatives when Gary needs a new shell. Here, take a look at some of these clips. What the heck is going on with my fancy boot? Hey, knock it off! All right, I warned you. <laughs> I got gotcha you now. For a minute there, I thought you were hurt. This episode is hilarious, and one of my favorite things about it is throughout the episode, SpongeBob just keeps on breaking different shells. Here's like a little compilation of it. It's so funny. Barnacles, you were hurt. On slipping off, eh, buddy? Okay, okay, let's get down to business though and talk about this episode's first mistake. I'm gonna play a clip. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Here, try this on for size. Oh. Of course it's a shell. Oh. Okay, you're right, it's not a shell. Oh, oh. greetings. Earthling, I am SpongeBob. I come from the future. Da. This mistake is really funny. But when SpongeBob puts on the space helmet, um, his arms literally go through the helmet, making for a really, really bad mistake. And there's more. This next one is just as bad. Think of something. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, perhaps you could help me find a new shell for Gary. Now, how much you got? Nothing, Mr. Krabs. I'm broke. Oh, I see. But wait, Mr. Krabs, if you help me get Gary a shell, I'll work for free for the rest of the year. So it happens really fast. But when Mr. Krabs says, oh, I see, one of his red arms is just not colored in. Like the animators just decided not to fill in his arm with color. And again, it looks really bad, a bad animation mistake. We've got another one, but this one isn't as bad. Yeah, the last one is a crediting error, as D. Snyder's name, which is spelt like this, I'll show text on screen, is misspelt like this during the opening credits. Let's move over to another episode and talk about some even crazier mistakes. Up next is the episode Reef Blower, a weird episode because it's like a silent episode. You don't get any dialogue from SpongeBob or Squidward, you just get music. Here are some clips. Like I said, interesting episode. Like imagine if SpongeBob was always like this. It didn't have dialogue. It was just like a silent film type of show. But anyways, let's get into the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot this. So this first one is just like the last one of the last section, as when sand is piled in Spongebob's walkway, the window on the first floor of his house is just missing. Normally the house looks like this, but in this shot the window's missing. Eh, that was kind of boring though. Let's talk about another mistake that's a lot more spicy.
Okay, so listen closely. Squidward's hammock is in the backyard, and it's seen at about the 45 second mark. Yet, in the next scene where he is seen eating, the two corals that held the hammock and the hammock itself are nowhere to be found. They just disappeared. Maybe he put them away, but I think it's a mistake, and I've got another mistake. Take a look at this clip. Okay, so again, listen closely as this one is kind of complicated. But at the beginning of the episode, we can see this flower in a pot. It's right here, okay? It's right here. But then when we see Squidward in his yard eating, the flower in the pot from the beginning disappears. It's not seen in the episode again after, including this scene towards the end when he's sitting on his doorstep. Like we should see it right there. So another mistake, but hey, let's move on to another episode, which has probably some of the craziest mistakes I've ever seen. House hunting. This is actually like a really new episode of the show. It's very new where the Star family lose their house due to some ridiculous reasons. Here, take a look at some of these clips. Coffee always gives me the jitters. about a ridiculous plot, like they lose their house, it's crazy, but not as ridiculous as this first mistake. Keep those eyes peeled. How do we get the house back home? I think I have an idea. So to be honest, I missed this mistake multiple times while watching this episode, but the word ukulele on the town sign is actually misspelt. It's spelt as U-K-E-L-E-L-E, -E -L -E, which is incorrect. There's supposed to be a U. And that's not it for this episode, unfortunately. There's another mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Keep those eyes peeled. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. The pointy maw, destroyer of our meaty land. Ooh! Hey guys! Get This one happens really fast as it's at the ending of the episode, but during the final shot of this episode, Squidina's arm is colored as yellow. Normally she looks like this, but in this scene she looks like this with a yellow arm, which is totally a mistake, crazy. But let's move over to an episode of good old fashioned Spongebob and spot some more mistakes over there. First up is the season six episode, Krusty Crushers, an episode where Mr. Krabs wants to manage Spongebob and Patrick, but not as Krusty Krab workers, but as like a tag team wrestling duo, just so they can win a million dollars. It's pretty funny. Here are some clips. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him! <laughs> I don't know what you oh. oh. Whatever it is, it's really big. <laughs> and hairy. <laughs> is it time to look at? You peek first. No, you peek first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, you know, I personally thought that they would make for a good tag team, but a big issue in this episode is that they just keep on fighting. Anyways though, let's get into mistake number one. Let's see if you guys can catch this one. Keep those eyes peeled. Hey, who are those guys, Mr. Krabs? They look like they want to hurt us. What? Those two? Ah, they're harmless. They're just pretending. Pretending? We, we like, like pretending. pretending. Can we wear costumes? Eh, uh, sure. Hey, SpongeBob. How do I look? Wow, looks like those iron bun workout videos are really paying off. Al, send the mic down. We've got fresh meat. Actually, we're here to fake wrestle. And to pretend wrestle. Yeah, whatever. Did you catch it? Well, when Patrick is showing off his metal bottom to SpongeBob, his bandana disappears suddenly and then returns after Patrick gets up, but then it vanishes again when Patrick and SpongeBob tell the microphone guy that they're there just to fake wrestle. Like, where did this dude's bandana go? I don't know, but let's move over to mistake number two. All right, you two, no more messing around. You see this, just a spatula, right? Wrong! Actually, this represents your face after I get through mangling it! There! You see that? And if you think this is bad, wait till I get my hands on ya! I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear you to shreds like a... Oh, come on! Oh, I got paper, got paper, got Patrick, are you okay? Oh, oh, I'm fine. I just like to suck on my hand. This one is just funny, I guess, but when Patrick gets a paper cut, he cuts his right arm, as you can see right here. But when he goes to like soothe it and like suck on it, so you know, you like cut your hand and you go to like kiss it or whatever. He kisses the wrong arm. He kisses his left arm when it was his right arm that got hurt. So kind of a funny mistake here. I don't know how they messed it up. And I have one more. This one's really bad. So at the end of the episode, SpongeBob is seen wearing his wrestling uniform. Same thing with Patrick. But when Patrick and SpongeBob are spinning in the air and are about to get shredded into pieces, ouch, SpongeBob is briefly seen wearing his regular clothes when he should be wearing his wrestling uniform. Like in this shot right before, he's wearing the wrestling uniform. Now this dude's magically back in his regular outfit. Talk about a mistake, three mistakes in one episode, and let's move over to our second episode. Our next episode is Cephalopod Lodge. Now this episode's pretty cool. It's about Squidward joining a club that is only for cephalopods, which is like squids. So yeah, here's some clips. I'll never forget my initiation ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, Patrick, did you follow me here? Brother Squidward, for thousands of years, no outsiders have witnessed this sacred initiation. But I, 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 I... Man, I feel bad for Squidward sometimes. Like, the dude found something that makes him happy, and of course SpongeBob and freaking Patrick have to try and intervene and mess it up for him. But anyways, let's go back to the beginning of the episode and look at this clip to see if we can spot our mistake. What is it about the third Wednesday of every month that makes Squidward so happy? Psst. Squidward. Roger. Is that you? Tonight's the big night. <laughs> Hello, Brother Roger. 
So when this character, Roger, was talking to Squidward at the Krusty Krab, he is green. As you can see right now, he's green. However, when he's at the Cephalopod Lodge later on in the episode, the dude is just like a different color now. He was green, but now he's blue, thus making for a really weird mistake. And of course, I've got another one. Hello. Brother Roger. Okay, Squidward, just give us five minutes and then do your stuff. This is ridiculous. No one is dumb enough to believe SpongeBob and Patrick are a, a giant albino eel. <laughs> So listen closely, this one's kind of complicated, I'm going to show as much footage and screenshots as I can, but when Squidward first enters the lodge, he enters a large room, this room right here, but when he later saves them from the eel, it is now some kind of corridor, like the actual location has just changed, the entire room has changed. It's very strange. Not as strange as this episode's last mistake, though. Take a look at this. Don't worry, Squidward. We still have the feather, friends. So as you just seen, Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick get kicked out. And as this happens, you can hear Squidward screaming. But if you actually look at his mouth, it's closed. This one, you kind of need to hear the audio. So here's a clip of it again, just so you can, you can hear it. You'll see his mouth is closed, but he screams. One very nostalgic episode for me personally is Tea at the Tree Dome, the episode where Spongebob meets Sandy for like the very first time. It's kind of a big deal. Here are some clips. Where have I seen this before? Here it is. Land Squirrel! Yeah! Hey, you like karate too! Well, bye! Bow, 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 bow. Ah. So, what's your name? Sandy. So, what do you call yourself? Like, seriously, what? A really good episode. I have so much nostalgia for this one. But what I don't have nostalgia for are the mistakes hidden in this episode that I totally missed as a kid. Let's take a look at the first one. Huh? I just met this girl. She wears a hat full of air. If you want to be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. The higher you hold it, the fancier you are. How's that? Higher. Like that? Now that's fancy! Remember, when in doubt, pinky out. Okay, okay, so listen. When Patrick tells SpongeBob how to be fancy, he lifts his right hand pinky finger up. And this is kind of like a joke throughout the episode, is that if you want to be fancy, you gotta drink with your pinky finger up. But here's the issue. In the next scene, where SpongeBob and Patrick approach Sandy's tree dome, SpongeBob then has his left hand up, and it looks like he's holding up his index finger rather than his pinky. So he's holding up the wrong finger, which is just kind of like a really funny mistake considering this is like a bit throughout the episode. But <laughs> let's move on to another mistake. Remember, when in doubt, pinky out. You can do it, SpongeBob. I'll be watching. Thanks, pal. Uh, 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 uh. 
so many times throughout SpongeBob history, there's always been this red light on Sandy's front door, which is where water gets drained, right? Like if she ever wants to drain water, this is how she does it. It even happens at one point during this episode. But the mistake is that during this scene where SpongeBob and Patrick are first walking up to the tree dome, that red light is just not there, making for a strange continuity error. And hey, stay tuned as we're gonna move on to another episode, which has some shocking mistakes. Up next is the episode Boss for a Day, an episode where, well, as you can guess by the name, SpongeBob becomes the boss of the Krusty Krab for an entire day after, well, here, this happens to Mr. Krabs. I actually feel bad for the guy. Hmm? SpongeBob! Table 8 needs more core fries! Up to it, boys! I'm on popping, sir. Woohoo! Uh -oh. <laughs> what is it, Kurt? What do you smell? Ooh. All day long, you'll have a penny! <laughs> what a good girl. Damn, poor Mr. Krabs, like that must have really hurt. But you know what really hurt me, guys? The mistakes in this episode. Talk about an amazing segue. But here's the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it without my help. It's a crusty crab, Mr. Squidward. We're always polite to our paying customers. Here, try one of Mr. Krabs' vintage training devices. <laughs> <laughs> Please take your order. I think that went pretty well, don't you? Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Squidward, it's not time for your break. I'm taking a palm on that break from you. Okay, so listen closely. When SpongeBob bolts in front of the front door of the Krusty Krab, when Squidward is leaving, the bottom line of his two teeth are connected as one big line when they're supposed to be separate. It's really weird, and in the same scene, Squidward's wrinkles are missing. So yeah, two mistakes in one shot, and here's some more clips with another mistake. <laughs> Now I'll be honest, this next one is kind of subtle, it's not that big of a deal, but don't worry, I've got crazier ones coming up, but when Spongebob is twirling around in the circle of his slices, his leg appears white, like his sock, like his leg is white, but it only happens whenever he faces the left, as you can see here. Really weird mistake with a white leg, <laughs> crazy. But let's move over to the final mistake in this episode, and then we can get back to the Patrick Star Show. Oh, he picked me! I, I'm in charge! Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll be the best boss the Krusty Krab ever had. Just for you, Mr. Krabs! Well, I guess if I want a boss like Mr. Krabs, I am allowed to think like Krabs. I, 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 I. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I've covered this mistake before, any longtime Grapple fan knows, but I had to show it again just because it's so bad. But as you've seen, Mr. Krabs literally duplicates himself for a split second as SpongeBob opens the Krusty Krab door. Weird. So let's move over to the Patrick Star Show and talk about some more mistakes. They're going to be spicy. The episode we're going to be talking about is Patrick the Game from season 10, or no, season 9 actually, and here, take a look at these clips. <laughs> I don't see the point of this game night. Every game that Patrick has invented is more pointless and boring than the last. This time he did research. Welcome gamers, and behold! My game. It's beautiful. 
What's it called, Patrick? Might I suggest garbage? <laughs> what? Yeah, Patrick, what's it called? <laughs> it's called Patrick the Game! Not my favorite season nine episode, but it's not a bad episode anyways. But let's get into the first mistake. Take a look. I invented a game! I invented a game! Whoopee, do tell. It's called Tic Tac. You start with two lines that are crossed, and then the first person puts an X, and then the next person puts a... Oh. Oh, yeah, I know. And the first person to get two in a row draws a line through them and says, Tic Tac. Tic and Tac. I should have gone with my first idea, Tic. It's called rock, paper, butter. There's a lot going on in this one. So during the scene in which Patrick shows Squidward how to play tic-tac, the X's and O's drawn on the papers disappear right before the bubble transition. This will be easier to see in slow motion. Here, take a look. Oh, also the writing on the galley grub and order here signs disappear as well when the bubble transition hits. So yeah, we'll just show this all in one clip. I should have gone with my first idea, tick. Up next is the episode Truth or Square, a SpongeBob special from yet again, season six. This episode has a really interesting plot. Here's like a quick summary of the plot with clips. some special anniversary deals to the menu, Krabby Patty. Two twenty bucks. Oh no! Oh, that loose change out there is driving me wallet mad with money lust. We gotta get out of here now! Oh, if only Sandy was here, she could help us. Sandy, come in, Sandy. So it was you who stole my other radio, Squidward. What? No, I'm just, I, no. Ah! Sandy's trapped in that box! I love SpongeBob specials, like especially ones that are longer than like 20 minutes, like an hour long special. I love them, so I enjoyed this episode, but I hate to rain on the parade. The episode has a mistake. It has two, actually. Here's the first one. <laughs> there it is! SpongeBob's house! Oh, hello! <laughs> Are you okay? Is that? This one is really easy to miss. Like, I'm sure you've seen it and missed it many times. But when SpongeBob says, are you okay, in Patchy's dream, um, the right side of his pants just is transparent and wasn't colored in. Like, what an embarrassing mistake. And here's another one. Hey, hey, chill out, buddy. We all want to get into the Krusty Krab as much as you do. <laughs> But I don't have time to wait in line. Sorry, but I can't be late today. <coughs> ah. What the? Hey! Ah. <coughs> Sorry, everyone, but Mr. Krabs needs me. So at the beginning of the episode, when SpongeBob leaves his house after singing, he bumps into Harold, who is in line going all the way to the Krusty Krab. We hear his voice. Krusty Krab as much as you do. SpongeBob then declares that he cannot be late and jumps on the other fish's head. And if you listen closely, <coughs> the male fish now have female voices and the female fish have male voices. Hey, like you can have any type of voice you want, but it can't change how halfway through the episode. So another mistake, and let's move on to a new episode with even more mistakes. First up is, well, the very first episode of SpongeBob ever, Help Wanted, an episode where we got introduced to SpongeBob as a character and got to see the Krusty Krab for the first time. Here's some funny clips from the episode. Today's the big day, Gary. <coughs> Gotta be in top physical condition for today, Gary. There it is, 
the finest eating establishment ever established for eating. The Krusty Krab, home of the Krabby Patty, with a help wanted sign in the window. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh no, SpongeBob, what could he possibly go want? Go SpongeBob, go SpongeBob, go self. Damn, this episode has so many funny moments, but let's get into the mistakes as this episode also has a lot of mistakes. I mean, it's the first ever episode, so it makes sense. Let's see if you guys can spot this first one without my help. I'm gonna go in there, march straight to the manager, look him straight in the eye, lay it on the line, and I can't do this! Patrick! Where do you think you're going? I was just... No, you're not. You're going to the Krusty Krab and get that job! Who's a big yellow cube with holes? I am! Who's ready? I'm ready! Who's ready? I'm ready! Who's ready? I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Did you catch it? Don't worry, if you didn't, I got you covered. Cartoon Cory's got you. As, take a look at this. Um, why is SpongeBob's collar red? Normally, it looks like this, but in this one shot, it looks like this and is definitely a mistake. And there's more where that came from. There's a whole bunch more. There's actually like three more mistakes, so keep your eyes peeled and let's see if you guys can catch this next one. <laughs> Please, please, watch! Is this any way to behave? This one is just funny, but during this scene where Mr. Krabs and Squidward are like freaking out due to the anchovies just trying to eat them, there are a few shots where Squidward and Mr. Krabs' teeth are purple. Now this is probably due to the lighting, but it's not supposed to look like this. If you know animation, this was definitely a mistake. And here's another error, keep those eyes peeled. But, but, Mr. Krabs... Three cheers for SpongeBob! Hip, hip! All right, Mr. Krabs... Hip, hip! All right, hip, hip! All right, Mr. Krabs... I'll be in my quarters, counting out the booty. This one is pretty easy to catch, like I'm sure you guys already know it, but the anchor on Squidward's Krusty Krab hat is missing. Normally a Krusty Krab hat looks like this, it has an anchor on it, it looks kinda cool. But in this one shot, the animators just didn't draw the anchor, and it looks very strange. Okay, okay, I'm getting sick of this episode, but I've got one more mistake, and then we're gonna move on to another episode. Keep those eyes peeled! This scene, so fascinating, so wonderful. Here we see Bikini Bottom teeming with life, home of one of my favorite creatures, SpongeBob SquarePants. Any true SpongeBob fan should have been able to catch that one, as SpongeBob's house is missing a window. Normally, SpongeBob's house looks like this. It's looked like this consistently throughout the show, but in this one shot, the window is just missing. Now, I'm gonna move on to another episode. Stay tuned, as there are some crazy mistakes coming up. I wonder what would happen if Plankton and Patrick teamed up together. They're not the most likely, you know, teammates, but this is actually what happens in the episode Chum Bucket Supreme. Here's some clips. Perfect! Chum is metabolic fuel. <laughs> Hello, sir, and welcome to the Chum Bucket. No, sir. Meta! Whoa! Eat! Forget about what that word means! There's a fire breaking out in the language lobes! We need to get out of here! The door's jammed! Push harder! <laughs> Wait, what are we doing again? Ah, there we go! Chum is fun! What the? Hey, it makes for a very funny plot, but I personally don't think I'd hire Patrick, of all people, as an advertising director. But hey, Plankton, you do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing, and that's pointing out this first mistake. Keep those eyes peeled. 
We're having a board meeting here. We need ideas. Mm. I'm so happy that they changed that old tired slogan, chum is bum. Yeah, that new slogan, fum is chum, is way cooler. Way cooler. <laughs> Chum Bucket Supreme, enjoy! So this guy right here is Frank, and as you can see, he's wearing this fresh red shirt when he approaches the counter. But take a look at him during this next shot as it zooms in on the register, as his shirt is now blue. At first it looked like this and it was red, but now it looks like this and it was blue, which is a mistake, and I've got another mistake for you guys hidden in this clip. Keep those eyes peeled! Uh, sir? Your head, it's on fire. Okay, so can I tell you something honestly? Whatever. It's about your sign. These words make my head sad. I don't get it. It's okay, little fella. This one is very, very, very weird. But when the camera zooms in on Patrick after he says, these words make my head sad, there's an animation glitch as Patrick's forehead can be seen below Patrick's eyes for a split second. Yeah, very weird. You know, the Patrick Star Show gets a lot of flack online, like I think people overly criticize this show, especially when the episode Backpack Payback is such a good episode. Like, take a look at some of these clips, it's so funny. Oh boy! A newspaper for me? Huh? Thanks, paper boy! You still owe me cash! Ya ta ta ta! I'll hit you back. Ya ta ta! Yes? You owe my grandson money! Huh? <laughs> I've escaped without a trace! On to the mistakes. <laughs> Maybe there's some money in here. Oh. Tentacles! Come get your money! <laughs> Where's that cash? I'm not paying for this newspaper! There's no ink on it! It's got ink now! Pay him! Oh, no, please don't hurt me! Your money's over there! Oh, <laughs> oh I can't... Believe it! Five years of unpaid newspaper money! <laughs> so, this one is kind of funny. I'm shocked that the animators made this mistake, but Squidward's nose is yellow for a frame during the scene where he finds the fake money on the table. Like, look at that dude with a yellow nose. Crazy. That's actually the only mistake I could find in this episode. So, let's move back over to SpongeBob and find some more mistakes. Last but not least is the episode Ripped Pants. You guys know the drill. Here are some clips from the episode. Hey, Sandy, who am I? <laughs> Hello, SpongeBob. <laughs> Did anyone order 20 pepperoni and hand pizzas? <laughs> <laughs> hey, SpongeBob. Hey, Larry. You guys want to go lift some weights? Sure. Well, come on, SpongeBob. Coming. <laughs> Such a good episode. What isn't so good are the mistakes though. Like you guys know exactly what I'm gonna talk about here. Here's the episode's first mistake. I thought that I had everybody on my side, but I went and blew it all sky high. And now she won't even spare a passing glance. All just because I ripped my pants. When Big Larry came around to put him down, 
So as you can see, SpongeBob rips off his swimsuit, revealing his underwear in this scene. But when the camera zooms out as the other quote unquote losers join him for the ripped pants song, SpongeBob is randomly now seen wearing his soaking wet swimsuit in this shot when we just seen him rip it off. So a major mistake, and I've got one more. Now I learned a lesson. Soon forget. So This last one is pretty straightforward, but during the ripped pants song, several scenes still have SpongeBob with his swim trunks on, which again, as we mentioned before, he rips them off. So yeah, season 12's Mind the Gap is a pretty interesting episode. It's not a bad episode, but the actual plot's kind of weird with it revolving around teeth. Well, more so a lack of teeth, specifically this gap in SpongeBob's mouth here. Take a look at these clips. Ah, my people. Hey, hipsters, it's Groovy Cats. I can dig it. Hey, hipsters, it's Groovy Cats. Oh, I can dig it. You're the coolest customer we've ever had. Oh, crazy daddy, crazy. Can I sit you at the coolest table? I'm here to meet up with a real cool cat. Oh, there he is. Hey, Squidaroony. Ah! <laughs> yeah, honestly, this episode is really funny. Like, SpongeBob's personality, once his teeth get messed with, like, it changes his voice and he turns into a whole different man. But enough of that. Let's get into the spicy mistakes. I will be your dentist. You will. My <laughs> Better. That should seal up that drafty gap. Ah. And kill the whistling. <laughs> well, thank you, Dr. Squidward. Did you catch the mistake? Probably not, as it's actually an audio mistake. So as I said, SpongeBob's voice changes in this episode and sounds like this. Oh boy, would I. That sounds so cool. But just after Squidward screws SpongeBob's buck teeth together, SpongeBob actually sighs in his normal voice, making for a weird mistake. Oh, better. That should seal up that drafty gap. Ah. That ain't it, though. Here's mistake number two. <laughs> Guess I gotta use good old fashioned tentacle grease. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, better. That should seal up that drafty gap. Say, without a gap, my voice sounds almost cool. Testing, testing one, two, three. This one is more of a continuity error, as when Squidward is trying his second attempt at drilling SpongeBob's teeth, he puts a screw in between SpongeBob's teeth. However, in the zoomed out shot right here, the screw just disappears, despite us literally seeing it in this shot a moment ago. So a weird continuity error, not that big of a deal. But, but this episode's last audio error is pretty bad. Take a listen to this and use those ears. A one, a two, a bob bubble boo. Yeah, you guys definitely caught this one, as when Spongebob is saying flick, 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 flip, 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 his mouth doesn't even move. Like, zoom in on this as the audio is playing, his mouth doesn't even move, so 
talk about a weird mistake as always. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I appreciate all of you, the Grapple Gang. I'm Cartoon Cory. Shout out to the Premiere Gang. And shout out to our new editor, Manny. He edited this video and did such a good job. So, but yeah, if you're new, guys, make sure to subscribe as I will be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. It might take me like two or three days, but if you're subscribed and you comment, you'll get a response from Cartoon Cory for sure. But yeah, make sure to subscribe, guys. I'm going to be streaming on this channel soon. And I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.